I am the top five best snappers in the world. Super Tech God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Marvel Snapcast with your host, STG. Of course, the variant god, the man with every variant in the game, and my co-host, the one and only. The top five best snappers in the world, Sino, 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 because I snapped that high fire. How you been, man? Yeah, I'm good, man. Chilling. I'm chilling, man. I still hear that, I hear still recuperating after all everything we had going on, Ooh, man. Past it's weekend been a crazy, crazy month. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, yeah, man. Doing good. I hear that. So a little congestion. Yeah, little I can congestion. hear that. I can hear from that. The, from the season change, you know how we do. But we're still here. We're gonna make it happen. I'm actually not home. I'm actually away with the fam out in the bushes, you know what I mean? Yeah, he did um, a road trip, then invite your boy. That's fucked up, man. You be at, you be at. <laughs> Tonight, we got two special, awesome guests with us. Yeah. Right, first, we'll kick off. The one and only this gentleman is killing it right now in the Snap community. Killing it with the wicked streams. Of course, doing the amazing content for Marvel Snap. And, of course, New York's very own. The one and only Perry Mano. Perry, welcome in, buddy. How That's you been? Right, New York in the hey, building. New York. New yeah. York. What's, What's up, boys? Bro? How we doing? What's up, bro? How, How we been? doing? Give him, yeah. Three fourths of the Brooklyn commentary squad right here, and I got a feeling right. we're about to get another one. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so our next guest, of course, as Perry mentioned, another New York very own. You guys know him mm -hmm. more from the fighting scene. He's one of the best. Not no, sorry, he is the best caster mm -hmm. when it comes to mm -hmm. any fighting games out there, as right. well as Marvel Snap. Killing it on the Marvel Snap screen streams as well. Give a shout out to our guy, the one and only Yipes. Welcome in, my friend. How you doing? Yeah. What's going on? I appreciate the warm yeah, welcome. Let's in the go. Building. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little uh little tired, just been uh doing a lot of traveling and errands. You know, I'm a little grown folk now with the game. <laughs> so, uh, I hear that. You know that go. So, guys, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. We definitely had a great time over in Brooklyn last weekend. Everybody can't stop talking about it. So I'm glad everybody who didn't make it got that FOMO because now yeah. the next one gotta be bigger and better, right? A lot of That's FOMO. Right. Man. I like That's to hear. So right. before we dive into that awesome event and do a recap. I want to dive into this week's crazy Marvel patch notes. I know you guys play Marvel Snap, of course, and I'm sure you guys have some awesome takes on the patch that, you know, is supposed to fix the meta. All right, so we're going to kick into that right now, and let's put, bring it up on the screen. Mm. All right. So, Band-Aids. Yeah. Oh, band That's how you feel. Listen, I'm yeah. glad you said that. All right, so... I'm gonna run real through real quick through the, the update features. I mean, I was I was hurt. I saw this. I went straight to Twitter. Like, finally, I can customize my splits for my variants. Yeah. So let's go. They that features it. a feature request, not happening. The cosmetic mm -hmm. shop. I want to talk about that with you guys. I'm gonna start with you, Yipes. How do you feel about the cosmetic shop now? Allowing people to purchase emotes, even at that ridiculous gold price. How do you feel about it? I mean, I'm going to keep it a stack. I don't think I'm going to spend my precious gold <coughs> on the avatars and uh, what is it? It was just avatars. Emotes, emotes. And yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, just due to the fact that I already claimed the best emote in the game, and that was the one with Magneto. Once I claim, once I, uh, uh, once I really? finished the Jim Lee collection, I think for me personally, yeah. I didn't need nothing else. So everything is a bonus, especially if you get like free avatars and emotes through the season pass. I don't really need to see right. that. Nothing too crazy now. If there's like a crazy Magneto variant, I might buy it. I might bite on it, but so far, I feel right like it's, it's not necessary. Yeah, all right, Perry. How about you? How you feel about those cosmetics? I'm actually in the exact same boat. The only album I got finished is the Jim Lee. I got my Magneto emote. I'm set. That's the only thing I really need. Again, you know, if they if they drop some love for my man Steve Rogers at some point, you know, I don't know what they're doing, why they hate this man so much, anti American, but it's all right, it's all good. <laughs> You know, wow. I don't I don't see myself dropping too much gold on anything in the cosmetic shop, but it's nice that they at least give you the option to let the whales whale out and hopefully that will uh, reduce the price of everything in the future. Hopefully. Sina, how about you? 
Uh, I'm good with it, man. Uh, I'm not like you guys over there. You guys are balling out here finishing albums and shit. I haven't finished one <laughs> album, so I'm a little, I'm a little sick. I got tons of fucking variants. I, I'm like, I don't understand how I, I'm close in one, but not really close in others. So I don't know. So now I got the ability to go purchase my emote. You know, since I'm not able to do like y'all, I got my Miss Minutes. You know, what I mean, you take it forever, fucking emote that Stop I've been roping. waiting. That's the yeah, yeah, that's the one I wanted. Yeah. That, and and kind of like yipes, like yo, I'm good from here. If I don't get another one, I'm good. That's the one I wanted because I want to be like, hurry the fuck up, like you know what I mean. Spider-Man. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but other than that, uh, yeah, I'm good with it. But I understand why there, there is some outrage out there over this. So. uh I can understand that too, but I'm good with it. I think it gives everybody an opportunity to start eating molten like crazy now. I hear that. Um, I like the beast. I wait for the Galactus. I'll definitely buy that. Uh, but at the end of the day, the way I feel about it is, if you can't afford it, don't don't even try to buy it. Just go right past it. Don't get upset. Don't say that second thing is charging too much for it. Just look by it, right? Because like I said, if I go into a Louis Vuitton store and I see a a lunch bag for three thousand dollars. I have no right to complain to Louis. Like, yo, three thousand dollar lunch bag? Nah, I just can't buy it. I'm not even <laughs> yeah, gonna look at it. Buy it. Walk shit. right not by it. Shit, yeah. <laughs> so we gotta really keep that mentality and stop screaming at the devs about prices and stuff. Because at the end of the day, they gotta make money the same way Louis gotta sell that paper bag for three thousand dollars. Uh. <laughs> now, as far as the boost, the bonus booster selection go, that's pretty cool. I'm really happy about that. Finally, this makes sense. Now, if you don't have the boosters for that card, you can now use your credits to get that card fully boosted and leveled up. So that makes sense if you guys want to use that section now. Before we tell people don't do it, Yep. now you can definitely go ahead and make that happen. Um, next thing on here I want to talk about is the audio and visual effects. Now, these cards and locations got mm-hmm. some wicked changes. Have you guys seen all of these yet? I've uh, seen most of them. I don't think I've seen Patriot or... Colson yet maybe i think i've seen all the other ones the mirage is nice the hazmat we got a new fart I'm scroll down know? a little so they can see yeah. a little bit no that's the yeah. one that is oh, right oh, there. There. Oh, that's right oh, there. There. all these are here yeah, yeah the oh. leader's dope as well vision uh legion pretty cool yeah i it just gives more personality to the game i think that's a, a great feature that they're adding just going back and, and giving all these cards some love the hood yeah, was really cool seriously. too I mean, look, yeah. I, I rock with uh, with Sandman, so I got lead in my Sandman deck. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see. Uh, yeah, that's just, like, we'll like, get to him. He like, he like scans like whatever it is that you copy. And he like plays it on your side. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. I haven't seen Legion, Mirage. I haven't seen Ooh, uh, Mirage Patriot. I have. It's like definitely Patriot. You just see like yeah. mad stars flying all over the place. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's, yo, so it's funny, right? When I seen the hood demon change, I thought he was on a jetpack, man, at first, but I really had like, <laughs> <laughs> animation to see what the hell he's doing. But it was literally yeah. just like him summoning a demon from hell from the sky, though, which is funny. It's like, crazy. It from the sky, it's the wrong from place, hell. yeah, you know, but yeah, it's nice. cool, though. I ain't complaining, it's nice, yeah, yeah, totally agree with that. See, now, how about you? You see any of these changes yet? I uh, got to see <laughs> the hazmat and the leader so far and the hood yes the hood one too that he's talking about which is hilarious he's right it's coming from above like it's the wrong place for a demon to be coming out of but yeah uh the hazmat where she's just like foof, foof, like it's crazy man i'm just like okay this is what's up and they played it on uh on like a one wong mystique combination mm. so you saw the shit out of it like it was just all day Several times. yeah yeah fact, Great, yes. yeah it's really no, dope definitely. i like it yeah i agree i saw them all so far Transkilling is pretty good. I like that one. The Wakandian throne room is very subtle when you play on it. It does the like Wakanda, um, you know, um, writings and it highlights mm-hmm. and it goes away. Um, but yeah, the Hood Demon one is crazy. Agent Coulson one is very subtle as well. Patriot, like you guys said, you just see the stars come out. That's pretty cool. Hazmat does have the biggest change out of all of them. But Leader's one is pretty cool because it looks like he's definitely copying, scanning and copying that card, which is pretty awesome. And I totally agree. I love when they go back and do that. What I want them to do now is when we get these new variants, these mythic variants, mm. give us some crazy animations for those. Mm. Like make the variants animations different from the cards. Yes. So if they're going to be mythical, do some real flash. That's what I want to see. Now we go to the meat and potatoes of this entire thing. <laughs> and this is the balance updates. Mm, rest so, in peace, kitty. We might as well start with that one first. <laughs> Zach Blue yeah. goes from an ongoing card, which is huge. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I think I had Zach Blue in every card list Me at too. this point. 
Well, most of them, but not everyone, yeah. but like most, a lot of them, like right. it's that bad. So yeah. was this change warranted? Like they said, like they wanted to make him an honor veil. And then of course, until the end of next turn, your card, your four costs will get cost one less. Now this change based on what they're saying is not, it might not be permanent. Who knows? They probably just test it out to see what happens. But the way it stands, Kitty's gone right now. I mean, Zeb was done. Um, let's start with you, Yipes. How you feel about this change? I mean, I can still see it work in certain decks. Like if uh, you're aiming high with like a Mr. Negative or something, for example, that could work out for you. But I mean, you still got Ravona. So like that's a replacement. So because of changes like this, I feel like the cards just get replaced and other cards get represented better. So I'm pretty that's sure cool. you'll see uh, Psylocke more, even though she's a 2-1, but... You know, at least it just gets the job done instead. But that might just be another side lock too, depending on like what type of uh, style of decks you rock, right? And obviously, four cost cards. But I mean, right. I don't know, man. I, I'm like fifty fifty with it. I think it sucks though, but I, it's more so for anybody that was like really boosting they they, they variants and stuff like that to make their freaking Zabu look cool. Now they got to put it in the back burner for a second. <laughs> Thanks. I, I, I that that. But yeah, yeah but I mean, if Zabu's definitely one of those cards that. Gotten a lot of changes from the original. We already know that the two cost was crazy. Till yeah, now, yeah. I mean, we'll see. The Wong Shuri on turn four, best times ever. Perry, how about you? How you feel about Zebu? <laughs> Man, I get it. I'm still upset. You know, I feel like he wasn't a card that people were complaining about that much, but yeah. it is pretty limiting in the deck design when you just know those two four drops are coming down on turn six. I think it is a shadow nerf to Shang-Chi as well. Shang-Chi, obviously one of the strongest cards in the game. Now, not being able to play him unless you really commit, like you're going to have to play this on turn five mm -hmm. with something else, and then you can get your Shang-Chi and your Enchantress off, or your Shang-Chi and your, your Cull Obsidian, whatever it may be. Absorbing mm -hmm. Man. Absorbing yeah. Man, exactly. So you have to really work for it now compared <coughs> to the the very easy cheat that it was before. Uh, I do think in one instance, it at least allows, you know, if you didn't get Zabu before turn two, it kind of felt pretty bad, but now at least there's a bit more flexibility on when you can play him. I just don't think you're going to see a lot of people running Zabu anymore. I do agree that he's kind of a worse Psylocke now because he only affects the four costs compared to Psylocke that just gives you energy for, for anything you can use for. Hope right. Summers as well helps fill that gap. To cheat that extra energy out, so yep. I think the kitty is going to be on the bench for a little while, unfortunately. I agree. You also I have agree. to look at you mentioned playing Zabu on turn five, so you could play um, Shang Chi and Absorber Man on turn six, etc. Mm -hmm. Then you might as well just play Sarah at that point, right? Pretty much. I mean, what else on, you really on you hope? Get? Yeah, yeah, on yeah. Hope. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Sarah on hope, and you just yeah. now. What are you even worried about? So, yeah, it's crazy what they did. Yeah, to I was very Zabu. upset about this, man. This one hurt my heart because I was a big Zabu player, man. Big, big Zabu player. So, uh, I mean, if now I see myself uh, running to Ravona more often, you know what I mean? So now yeah. every, every place I had kind of like Zabu, it was like negative decks. All right, Ravona. <laughs> like we had Ravona in there anyway, but Ravona. Yeah. Uh, my Living yeah. Tribunal, Ravona. You know what I mean? So it's like I I, found, I can find another card to kind of replace them. It's just I I really don't want to. I really just wanted the way. I think it was an unnecessary uh, change. But, you know, I guess you got to get creative. Carmitage now is a dream, I guess. Uh, I do see Carmitage a lot more often than I see Onslaught Citadel. So I don't know. Let's see how yeah. this goes. But I think this is a really <clears throat> change. Yeah, I mean, that's the only good side of it is that now it's no longer – a minimum of one. So if you do get that Carmitage Wong combo out, you could have your four costs at zero. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's that's a blessing in, if it happens, but that's the only upside to having that will be on reveal. All right. Now let's go into Sandman. So like I said, this is his boy. I used to play Sandman in a Black Panther list called Black Sands. It was great to get him out early and just every turn you got to play of course, so you think you can get Electro out on three, and then you can play Sandman on four. Now, you got the upper hand on your opponent because you both can play only one card, but of course, you can play the higher card. Now, Sandman goes just like Zabu from ongoing to on reveal. Yes, they gave him three extra power, but to me, I don't know. Who's playing Sandman in this meta right now? Blows my mind. What about you, Yikes? How do you feel about the Sandman change? 
Well, I can understand why they changed. I mean, Sandman, I feel like if everybody was going to start rocking like a Corvus or a Bounce Dex, this is definitely the counter when it comes to Sandman. Well, actually, no, this card beat Sandman Dex pretty good. But I guess this is just to balance it out to allow, uh, uh, allow like Bounce Dex to play a little more, right? So you don't really got to worry about getting cheesed out with like an early Electro or, a, or Iron Land or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Um but I mean, it, it brings out a lot of potential. The fact that it's five seven, I could see Sandman now, like in a Patriot deck, like uh, last play Patriot into like an Ultron or something. Maybe we'll see Ultron come back into the mix. Who knows? But I don't see nothing wrong with this, um, especially if you still rock like Doctor Doom or anything that sets up heavy or controls. I feel like this is a a, a fair change, overall balanced. I would say. I like that. I like that a lot. Patriot Doom. Sam, man, that's some dangerous shit right there. Love it. All right, Perry, how about you? How you feel about it? So I feel like I'm one of the only people who thinks Sam, man, actually got a little bit better here. I think that Ooh. extra three power does okay. go a long way. I think the fact right. that he's an on reveal makes him a bit more surprising. The fact that you don't have to get him out on turn four, you know, even playing him on turn four, yeah, it, it made your your Doom Odin combos a lot more consistent, your Black, po uh, Black Panther Zola stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I think you're often retreating after you see someone drop a Sandman and you know you're not going to beat that. Whereas now you can kind of get that like, all right, you know what? Maybe this one card can beat him here. And I do also think this kind of brings leader back a little bit in a, in a more in a more reliable way. All these Red Hulk decks going down now, you start building yeah. up some power early on. You get your Gladiator down. You drop your Sandman on turn five. He doesn't feel as bad as a 5-7 anymore. And now all of a sudden... You see that Red Hulk getting bigger and bigger. You just drop the leader down, you win. Game over. So That's I think fair. he's going to be a bit more surprising now. I don't think he's going to be necessarily exclusive in ramp decks. I think you might see him in a bit more control as well. Obviously does counter bounce and those Sarah Miracle lists pretty hard. So I think this is actually a shadow buff to uh, Sandman. Okay. All right. So, you know, what do you feel about it? Uh, I mean, it hurts people who are cheating Sandman. <laughs> now, like what man Yipe said with Electro on four. Like, other than that, or people who are playing, like, if you're playing Sandman, you're usually playing them off five anyway, and then throwing that Doom right afterwards, most likely. If you got if you got lucky and got Limbo out there, and then you're throwing Odin on top of that. So you're only really playing, you know what I mean? Like, in my, my opinion didn't really change it that much, because it only affected really, what, turn seven and turn four? That's it. Like, in my opinion, every, everybody was just playing them off five anyway. So, okay. I think he's fine. Uh, yeah, no, no big so deal. Those three, those three extra powers give him that buff for that. That's yeah, awesome. that's, right. that's a plus. Okay, and then we go on to the card that everybody's playing currently, and that is Strong Guy. Is the Strong Guy meta the truth right now? That's what we're seeing happening. So Strong Guy goes from a three-three ongoing. <clears throat> if your hand is empty, you get plus six. Now, if your hand has one card or less, of course, talking to the APOC people he now still gets that buff. So, I mean, listen, I like the change. I like I like that, you know, of course, they fight looking at strong guy, but I think he needs a better buff than this. Um, that's my take on it. I think it is a good card, but to get that extra nine or just the extra six, to me, is very interesting because you could do a lot more with other cards to get them higher than just nine. To me, anyway, that's how I feel. But nonetheless, I'm happy for those people who love strong guy because now wah, they get wah, to wah. do... Yeah, they get to well listen, they get to do the APOC stuff and get strong guy in the field. I tested it out with a Exodia deck, because of course I'm gonna play the Wall Mystique Gambit, right? Mm -hmm. Empty out my hand, and then mm -hmm. he be sitting there and he gets the plus, he gets the buff. So it is what it is. But at that point, I'm already destroying my opponent's side. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. But yeah, how do you feel about this change? Man, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. Uh that card's kind of like non existent. <laughs> Uh, for me. <laughs> that's what and I that's said. Not, yeah. That's not even yeah. to be a diss. It's like, like yeah, when no, you said you? that you seen it in the middle, I was like, <laughs> really? Like yeah. I, I no, barely people, get this. Oh man, people are playing it nonstop. Yeah, so I really don't have no opinion to it, but I do agree with you. Like, if you want to get some bang for your buck with the card, just give him a little more of a buff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, or just give him more utility to get that six power. I don't know. I I, I don't know, Jack. Nathan's with this card, bro. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's a Johnny Donuts to me, man. Strong yeah, guy. The last time I seen Strong Guy was in X Men 
season what was it? season two season yeah two? that's, that's, that's right. the last time i've seen strong, strong guy bro i'm dead serious yeah wow, that's a lot of he had a little cameo in 97 he, he was in the background in one of the pictures actually that's true. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah i was yeah. like damn that's strong guy back then and i think morph changed into him, what one time or two like yeah morph uh morph is good for some cameos too yeah yes, facts. Facts. <laughs> Barry, how do you feel about strong guy so i'm gonna take the uh the other side here i think this is a great buff for strong guy i think this makes him so much more reliable and he is now arguably the best three drop with the easiest to meet condition for above average stats so typically you have your three five as your baseline for a three drop that's your your standard power if you're under that you probably have a better effect if you're higher than that you probably have some sort of restriction so i feel like in the decks where you would be seeing strong guy that spot was previously held by a card like dokken where you are now getting one additional power for relatively free like that when you're playing dock and i love me some dock and dock one of my favorite cards but good card, yeah. in in yeah. the traditional discard list if you're playing him on three you have to figure out okay am i going to be able to have the hand space to do everything i need or my swarm's going to fill up my hand that extra shard does go a long way in uh in helping you not or hurting you from drawing your cards so I think in your traditional discard list, he is the go-to three drop now that isn't a discard card, like Lady Sif or Gambit or Moon Knight or one of those cards. Uh, I have been having a lot of success with him, and just having that reliable three nine stat line is uh, is really strong. I think he he has much more playability now. You don't have to play him in just those dump lists that you used to play, the Dracula dump where you just on the final turn you're getting everything out of your hand just for the chance to get that extra six power whereas now it's a lot more reliable when you're running him with cards like apoc if you happen to get a random card in your hand from the hub or camp lehigh one of those locations it uh it's less crippling than when you had the previous version so i think he's solid a very very reliable three nine nothing to sneeze at intriguing okay all right listen i like it like your answer but uh i'm a discard player man <laughs> yeah i'm with you, I'm with you. you i just i just think that uh maybe sebastian could get even higher Oh, easier. <laughs> you know what I mean? But for sure. In Discord, I get you. In Discord, I get you. Yeah. So, you know, how do you feel about it? I uh, don't really mess with Sean <laughs> like that. Don't really see the whole point. I'm sorry, Perry. I don't. Uh, yeah, it just seems like a lot of work for such a little. I, it does, I don't see the appeal. Uh, I see a lot of people playing it in Hella, like with Modoc, empty out their whole hand. They get the little buff. They got the breath, you know, with Hella coming and bringing everything back. Um, other than that, but every time I see strong guy, it's not like oh my god, strong guy. Like I'm not, I'm not intimidated at all. And I, and I was just like, oh, okay, cool. Like thank God you wasted your turn. Now I can play something and capitalize <laughs> off that. Wow, wow. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I'm not, I <laughs> strong guy. Hey, I just don't know. That nine power. I, oh, Perry, don't, bro. I've had conversations with STG bro for a minute and he's just like yeah but i could do this and empty and do this i'm like bro womp the fuck womp i don't care like it's strong guy you're telling me a bunch of shit to do for strong guy like it's boring i'm like come on bro like yeah. no I'm not, it's not boring i just don't think it adds up to much like i don't think it's a winner in, in my opinion so i i, I i'm always like eh, i don't care i want to hit that but yeah so i'm not a big strong guy uh lover yeah Pull. no i get it i big get that all right, then we go to the biggest card change of this whole patch, what everybody was waiting for. The one and only Eliath. Now Eliath oh. becomes a 6-8. We did it! On Good reveal. Riffs. Remove the text from all enemy, on reveal enemy cards here. So as you guys know before, he'll just destroy the cards. Now he doesn't destroy them. He just remove their abilities. So that also helps out a Patriot deck, right? Because it becomes a... Uh, card that Patriot can now buff, but as well, the most important thing is here he removes the text but does not destroy the card, so they they keep their power. And him being at 6 8 is okay. I think it should be a little bit more stronger <clears throat> for this ability because if I'm removing text from a Red Hulk that's happening right now, or any other card, or even Strong Guy, for example, or anything else, 6 8 is not going to cut it, but. I'm not mad at this change. It needed to happen. And due to this change, the meta has been better for it. Yipes, how do you feel about the new Eliath? <coughs> well, me personally, uh, I mean, 
I'm not gonna say it's one of my favorite cars, but I actually was. It was pretty fun just making people pissed off from it. <laughs> it was pretty funny to me. It was, it was hilarious. And then on top, of, and then on top of that, right? Like I go to social media and I always see these people just complaining about the character. <laughs> now I come from a world where there's a lot of complaints. Okay, so I, I just laugh at people's like misery. So they're like, "Oh man, that sucks for you." You know, I'm not even gonna put some names out there about. You know, there's some of your favorite content creators that be complaining, but oh, it's yeah. cool though. It's a fair complaint, right? Uh, I mean, compared to how it was when the car when the when the card first came out, where it just disintegrated no matter what yeah, priority yeah, or not, yeah, that was yeah, kind of yeah. absurd. That was so broken. Was, that's crazy. I kind of like that the change. So go, go, it was pretty bad. <laughs> going yeah. into going into uh, you know, the 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 next change. Uh, character was a little unfair, but at least you needed to have some priority, but still cheap. You know, there was a lot of ways to get priority yeah. in the game. But I mean, I feel like this is fine. It, it makes the character more creative. I mean, in terms of lore, it doesn't work out because, like, you know, you're not just fire breathing and, and shit just disintegrates but it does work against uh you know like zola decks i actually tried to set up a human towards zola and then i got hit with the life and my zola was was <laughs> cashed out so there's uh there's still potential there but i'm pretty sure everybody could rejoice and celebrate that the card is kind of ass now i think it's uh i think it's yeah it, which is cool with me I, it's whatever i was with the chaos to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> right. how about you how do you feel about it yeah, I'm glad he's gone. Uh, I, yeah, there we I, you go, know, I, I'm not saying I was one who was complaining about him a lot. <laughs> but, you know, I, I've lost my fair share game, fair share of games to Elias, and <laughs> me too, man. It's tilting, man. It's just the the worst part is when you just don't know. You know, mm -hmm. you go into that turn six, you don't have priority. There's only one place you can play, and they don't even have to have it. They they may have not drawn it. It may not even be in their deck. But you're always thinking about it. And that was yep. just the worst part. It's just like, well, am I going to really throw away eight cubes just to see if they have it or not? No. And the majority of the time, you just leave. And it just feels bad when you don't have to play that final turn. It feels worse when you don't leave. <laughs> it, feel, it feels worse when you don't leave. I've learned the hard way. It's better to just leave, you know, lose the two instead of the four. It's, it's, or the eight, yeah. or the eight, or the four <laughs> instead of the that eight. It hurts, man. That it shit does. Hurts. It does. It just feels terrible because you're just like, well, I, I know exactly what you're doing and there's nothing I can do about it. Mm -hmm. So when there is no counter to that, it feels bad. And I get that. I do think it was an important lesson in priority, the game teaching you how priority does matter, because most decks, you typically don't want priority on that final turn. When you want to play your Shang-Chi, your Enchantress, your Shadow King, mm -hmm. your Cosmo even, you typically, well, Cosmo, you would want priority, but the other ones, typically you don't want to have priority when you play them. So I do but think it was a valuable lesson in priority having importance however it was just too strong i think the way it is now you're going to see it disappear from the meta a little bit and then three to four weeks later you're going to start seeing him creeping back in the decks when people don't expect him and that's fair when you have that surprise ability when you lose that text when people aren't expecting him that's where a card can be at its strongest i think you see that with galactus now galactus was another card very similar where it felt like yeah. the game was over before the final turn and now he's at a spot where if you get hit by a Galactus, you're like, you know what? You deserved it. You set it up. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it. Surprise. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. And, and I feel like that's kind of where Eliath needs to be. The fact that he could just end the game before turn six felt really bad. So I'm happy with it. All right. So, you know, I know you loved Eliath. Let's go, baby. We did it, man. <laughs> Yo, guys, we had a whole episode on here talking about it. Fuck Eliath. All right. That was the name. F Eliath was the name of the episode. I did a whole rant. Everybody knows it. Mad people have come up to me and just talked about it. Like my whole, I just went off on fucking a life. Like I couldn't stand that card just because of how fucking I was like, yo, what's the fucking point? I shouldn't even play turn six. I should just win in five or, or retreat. Yep. But like, I, yo, I got so heated. I was one of, yo, yeah. I was one of those people that you were so happy <laughs> laughing at because they were so mad. I was fucking tight, bro. Throw your phone. Tight. But did you have like drafts ready and stuff? <laughs> like, no, I know that. I, I, bro, I think I seen some things. But I don't think I don't think you'd be one of those guys. You yeah, no. it, I don't think you're one of those guys. Yeah. Nah, I wasn't. Nah, I didn't take it to Twitter and all that. I, I, I just, I just, uh, I, I, I uh, vented to STG for a minute. <laughs> I would always yeah. uh, vent to him. Forty-five minutes. Yeah, minutes. I would go off, and she's just screaming about this fucking car. This, this fucking car sucks. Hit up, hit up, STG. Like, man, man, you see. Yo, you know what just happened to me on Conquest, man? 
Yeah, it's got fucking alive. <laughs> it never gets. Like, it never go infinite. Keep getting alive. Gotta I'm nerf like, this motherfucker, man. I might like, just play. I might. Like, I might just play Cosmo in every lane. What you worried about? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, just play fucking Cosmo. <laughs> fuck Cosmo. I don't want to play Cosmo. I don't want to play Cosmo. Cosmo, Cosmo, Cosmo like, hey, Mystique, yeah. Zola, the Cosmo. What you worried about? Yeah, yeah. nah, Be I'm Cosmo good. Every lane. I'm good, man. But yeah, so I'm I'm happy we did it. I feel like I had I played a part in this. I feel I I could take credit for this. Um. Yeah, I'm happy. Not, I mean, his like I heard what you were saying about the power, uh, SDG, but I think that its power is fitting because the tech is still fitting. I feel like if right. you can still take away text from a card, you're still a powerful card, you know what I mean? Like, you can still ruin ruin the ending, the final punch of a lot of decks, yeah, out there, you know what of I mean? On, of on reveal cards, but well, no, ongoing, you mean, no, on reveal, or really? both, or well. I mean, I if you throw an onslaught down on turn if, seven if, or on turn six, that's going to be gone. I, I play surf, I don't know. Earth, right? And then you play a life. You're just you're taking my text away, but do you take the buff away too? Yeah, yeah. you don't get that on oh, reveal anymore. Take the buff away too. But that's just three. That's about, just two power. I don't, know, I don't know about ongoing though. Scroll back I swear, up. I swear, I play a tribunal, and he didn't take away the text from tribunal. Scroll back up. Unless, unless I'm going crazy. Remove the text from all unrevealed enemy cards here. So if you got priority and you're going up against that tribunal and you play it on the lane where they got the onslaught, and the Iron Man, that tribunal's not doing shit except nine power. So you have to have prior still, right? Okay. Unrevealed okay. enemy. Okay, card. You, either way, that's fine. Then. I mean, that's not a problem. But right. again, here's the problem, right? I play tribunal in that lane. My nine beats that eight. As to why I feel he should be at least nine to ten power. <clears throat> I could see right, that cool. changing in the future. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if you have priority, typically you're winning anyway. So maybe that eight power does make up the difference, especially if you're not getting that widespread effect from a tribune. Uh, that's fair. That's fair because you're fair. winning already. Make I think he's still very much a playable card. You're going to see him disappear from the meta because people didn't do. He doesn't do what he used to do anymore, but he'll be back. That's it's fair. still a really good effect. Still kills Odin. Still kills Tribunal. Still kills Hella. Still the kills Zola, so many of Ola. these Doctor Doom, yeah. Zola. Like it still yeah. ruins those final turn plays. It just is, at least yeah. gives the other person a chance. At least you can see your cards. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not fucking <laughs> poof. It's yeah. gone. <laughs> Him and Sandman are, are now friends now. That's how I look at it. Yeah. He works Sandman, Sandman, five, man. six alive. There you go. Yeah. Uh, we did. We did miss one card, Lady Death Strike, who was a five four. Which I think I preferred her ability before because if I did cheat some energy out for her, whether it be with Shuri or anything else. She destroys every card that's less than her, less power than, less her. than her. Yeah. Now, now she's just restricted. Three or less. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, the seven is great, but if I get her to anything stronger than that, she's still only destroying the cards with three or less power. Um, so yeah, yeah. How do you feel about Lady Deathstrike change for this patch? Well, she's actually well was one of my personal cards until this happened. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to rock uh, Lady Deathstrike and Mister Negative decks, so. You know, like with yeah. death and stuff like that. So I actually like the idea of, you know, powering up the card. And if it has the highest power, right. they just destroy the random cards that's, you know, lower power than a Lady Death Strike. But I mean, I guess people was complaining about Death Strike, man. You know, that's crazy. I've seen a exactly. thousand Death Strikes. You know what I mean? Uh, every every game, every game that I played, I've seen a lot of Death Strikes. But I mean, I actually don't know and see the reason. Maybe they're just writing it right there. But I mean, honestly, it was nothing meta defying. And, you know, you get cool combinations like Sherry Death Strike or Forge Death Strike. Right. You right. Know? But I don't know. So that was an unnecessary thing. touch for you. That's what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Unnecessary. Yeah. 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 Perry, how yeah. about you? How you feel about it? I kind of feel the same way. I don't think anyone. I feel like it's kind of the opposite of Sandman, where they thought it was a buff, but it's actually a nerf in disguise. I do agree with Yipes. Negative was a good spot for her. That extra power does make a difference. Her being a four or five instead of a five four does make a difference. I used to like doing the crazy uh, Wong Shuri, mm -hmm. Lady right. Death Strike Zola combo and just wiping out right. all lanes. It was stupid, That's but it was you know it was never meant to be an amazing card, and I I, I kind of miss what it used to be able to do. Realistically, what are you using this card for? It's basically a Dracula killer, the way mm -hmm. I look at it. If someone mm -hmm. plays a Dracula on four, you drop this on five, Dracula's dead, you got seven power to replace it. Mm -hmm. They pretty much end the game at that point. Uh, I didn't yeah. think about that. Plus, Jean Grey. 
I mean, how many people are really yeah, you know, playing or Jade Gray these days? or Cerebro or anything? You can kill all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but realistically, you're still not going to feel too great about playing that on turn five. I do think she has some uses as just this tech card that can get rid of some of those annoying cards, like a Mobius, like a... I mean, I would have said Zabu, but not anymore. You're not going to see him, really. <laughs> but Ravona. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Damn. Damn. yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I think she needs something different. Should be a four cost would be better. Four cost, like five power, four five, yeah. same ability. It's uh, slightly better now. I don't know. Five seems too much of a commitment. Five drops are just in a weird spot right now. I it feel is. like there are very few five drops that you play on five that you feel good about. Besides Sarah, yeah, probably. Besides Iron Sarah, Man. Iron Vision, Man, Iron Man, Vision. yeah. There's yeah. a few of them. Yeah, Cena. Yeah. So, how do you feel about Lady Dash? Right? Uh, I liked her better before, definitely, because you can still proc her up and destroy anything underneath her power, which was, I think, more useful than just putting you in the box of, you know, three or under. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. I just think they're putting her in a box now of cards that she can attack, and that's just going to limit her to who's playing her or how often she's being played. So, I honestly, I think they did her a disservice. I don't think they helped her in any type of way. I totally agree with that. Let, let's see what happens. See if we see some more Lady Death Strike now that she is a 5 7. Um, now with Shuri. She, yeah, even if you're Shuri, it doesn't make sense. It's only going to be 3 or less. All right, so they did fix a bunch of bug fixes. A lot of things is going on. I think the game is still a little bit buggy, especially slow <laughs> when it comes to collection. Um, we guys saw what happened to the keys. Did you guys experience any of those? A little buggy. -ish? Man, you see yeah. what's going on right now with the end turn? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the end turn is real yeah, bad. It's frozen. Yeah, yeah. I had a, two games like that. I was like, I got a whole, I just got to close my whole game and yep, call it a day, which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. The end game is getting frozen. We got the keys issue with US Agent. I think they put out a, a reimbursements for that, right? They're going to let yeah, you people, keep your uh, keep your keys. So you get your keys back and you get to keep the rewards that you got correct. from the keys you used. That's not bad. So, no, not at all. That's what should happen. That's fine. I'm happy about that. But, you know, I just think that I'm happy to happen with U.S. Agent and not any other card this, this season. So as long as they, you know, make sure it's fixed and it'll happen again, I think everybody should be okay. But um, the end game stuff needs to get fixed. The slowness of the game itself needs to get fixed so i hope they are working on those bug fixes as well but did you guys experience anything with the keys did you guys were you guys some of the people that use your keys to get us agent well to be honest uh yeah i got them unfortunately uh <laughs> you know I, did, I thought he was gonna be cool i was trying to do something with like miss marvel in him but i was like eh, whatever I but i mean <laughs> I, I just copped them before that uh <coughs> i didn't experience none of that so i just literally on the first key i got you said and i said yes i'm kicking back <laughs> and that was it wow well you'll get you there no i didn't pull for him i was a good little soldier and did as i told don't pull any <laughs> keys you know there's a problem i don't want to lose my keys and i'm now paying the price because i don't get shit for it so yeah all the people yeah. who who pulled their four keys got their jeff variant for free got the mirage variant for free got their extra tokens they get all that shit and they get yep. their keys back and i'm sitting here like well doesn't play doesn't pay to play by the rules i guess <laughs> doesn't pay but whatever i mean yeah you know glenn had said on discord that uh he doesn't you know when his neighbor's house burns down he gets the the insurance out of it he doesn't feel like oh man i wish my house burned down I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah also yeah. not your house burned down it's a freaking card right. game man card, yeah, yeah, totally right. different like yeah i obviously would have yeah. dropped some keys if i had known i was getting some something back for it back yeah so I, I can't run. I was about to go, man. <laughs> yeah. You should have. You should have. And that's I now know. the precedent they're setting. So. That's how crazy it is. I didn't get US agent either. I passed, but I didn't do the whole when it was broken, try to <clears throat> go and spend as many keys. Yep. Uh, I waited till after it was fixed, then decided, oh, you know what? I really like that Jeff. I'm gonna try and go for that Jeff. I went, got the Jeff on the first key. I was like, all right, cool. I'm good. I don't need a US agent. Yeah, I'm good. I didn't get it. I, was like, I just got the Jeff wow. on the first key. I was like, all right, I'm good. I'm done. You can I'm never good. be mad. I'll be all right. I use, I use my tokens and brought them. <laughs> and then, uh, then I use my tokens to get the variants. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, the the, yeah, the keys. It is what it is. Um, nonetheless, US agent, we all can agree, is not a great card. A little caca. 
Yeah, yeah. Still better than Shout Captain America, though, yeah, which is messed up, man. Yeah, that's not. Um, yes, I, I agree with that comment, Perry. It's just a reverse um, man thing, right? It's not really anything crazy other than the the how much it takes away. Yeah, minus three to all four, five, and six costs in that lane. A two, three solid stat line for a two drop. You can typically okay. get two, six, or two, nine value out of him, which is fine. Right. You're not going to be playing him over a bunch of other two drops, but. It's the it's the fact that they gave him the voice line and the animation for Captain America and they made him better than Captain America. <laughs> it's like, man, why do they hate Steve Rogers so much? Oh, they gave him his voice. They I gave him the it. voice line and the shield yeah. bouncing around yeah. animation. So you're like, like, yep, he's music. better. I usually play music and stuff like real yeah, loud yeah. in here, so I don't really get to hear the sound. Hear the anime, man, now, yeah. now I'm gonna look into that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. for you, yeah. Barry. I'm so sorry, bro. Uh, Cap's my favorite man, and they just do him so <laughs> dirty. They just do him so dirty. He's ass in every game he's in. <clears throat> Cap is just, going uh, back to the Marvel games. He's he's <laughs> a new he's for new people, so the anime can make better than he is. Bullshit just, thank you, Perry. The there we go, Perry. Iron Man is for beginners too, and he's still playable in some of the yes. best in the game. Tell him I don't want to hear, hear it. I'm so tired I'm, of that. Well, you know what? Yes. You know, I, well, I'm sorry to tell you, before Red Skull over Captain America, what am I going to say to you? But... <laughs> man, I Red Skull's a better car. That was a real company uh, answer, STG. All right, we all know company you're man over here. Second day yeah, you know of the month, twelve months running. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Shut the fuck out, all right? Like, whatever, yeah, whatever. Let that man Listen, live. Listen, I'm right? just telling them what they say to me. I'm saying what they say to me. Justice for Cap. Justice for Cap. You heard him. I said, Brooklyn. I said Cap to them, Brooklyn, bro. Just to they get from Brooklyn. To, yeah, listen, I hear you. Miles need to get a better ability too. Trust Miles me. Miles too. They're doing Miles. I'm with you guys exactly. 100. percent I've been saying these things. I said Quicksilver should also be the opposite of ghosts. And they laughed at me and said, no, Quicksilver is <laughs> a new card. He's a, he's for newcomers. They can't make Quicksilver give you priority. I'm like, wow, this is why they treat Cap like shit. Listen, remember, people, Cyclops is still shit, right? At Unless least they gave Cyclops evil. something, man. At least they gave Cyclops <laughs> and Hulk and Misty Knight. At least they gave him something. You know, they're still not the best Cap, cards, but yeah, they at least gave him something. Cap straight ass. You yeah, can't yeah. play him. You can't play him. Why not put him on onslaught? It's what are you getting at? That man is the tutorial god. Oh yeah, my see, god! Yeah, yeah, that's that's a beginner <laughs> deck, and you never put him in a list again. Oh, he's got so many man. good oh, variants. Man. STG. He's got so many good. Yo, he, variants. That Peach Momoka is still my favorite. Peach so Momoka, bad. the Nullified, so Alex yeah, Ross. Yeah, you know what's crazy? You want, you want to know what's like, like false advertisement? What's that freaking variant? You see Captain America, like, like, or the floating apple or something, made him look like he's a fire ass card. Damn, which one is it? Was it the, the, the Hellfire Gala? Oh, he yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's making Cap look like yeah. fire in there. Yep. So many good variants. That's true. That's, that's, that's really yes, he got great variants. The, 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 hell, the Hellfire variant. Okay. Cap. I don't before, really before see it. We, before we dive into that. <laughs> what Perry, what would you want Cap to be? Let me hear what you Man, want. I've had so many suggestions for him. <laughs> I just want something different. I don't think it's as simple as a power buff. I think the most reasonable change I saw for him, which is fine, I'd still want a bit better, but the most reasonable change I saw for him is ongoing, plus one for every card here. If your opponent fills the lane, plus two to every card here. This way, he gets stronger when the odds are against him. And that's very Captain America. Very Captain America. So yeah, I like I that flavor to it. I think you should yeah. obviously incorporate his shield somehow. The fact that he has probably the most iconic weapon in the in the Marvel universe outside of maybe Mjolnir. The fact that it's not included outside of the little animation is stupid. Like, why does Thor get his hammer? Why does Dokken get his shard? Why can't Captain America be an on reveal? Toss the shield in his hand when you play it on reveal. You know, plus two to everyone in this lane. Something I don't know, man. Just something. Yeah. He deserves better. He's one of your best okay, characters. Right. You know what? U.S. Agent him. You're right. Let him get his shield, and he gets negative two to every card in that lane. I don't think I, I don't like the negative part of it because he's supposed to be like this inspiring and lift people yeah, up or around him or protect yeah. your he's teammates. He's supposed to be ass too. So I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> you got to. How about one, this? Like, how about this? <laughs> His ability is you throw the shield at random, and depending on how many cards you hit, you just get the, that amount of energy like that. You can hit Ooh, like three, like you hit three cards, you get three energy. Bam! You cool with that? Yeah, I mean, just something, man. Give him he something. He said anything, man. Right now, give okay. me my man's. Right. Okay, all right, I hear that. All right, so you know we won't we won't talk the second dinner. We're gonna get in that chat. We're gonna we're every gonna patch. Write. I'm campaigning now. Justice for <laughs> Cap. All right, that's fair. 
And we got to give Infinite a buff. Just make sure you oh, add that. Anyway. I'll, I'll concede the Infinite buff if you give me the cap buff. Right, no, don't do it, Perry. <laughs> Please don't feed into this bullshit where Infinite needs a buff. Look, Red, Red Hulk, Red Hulk can get above him. Thank you. Red Hulk, Red Hell, Hulk is God. Red Hulk Thank is you. cracked, but they we both yeah. know they're gonna nerf Red Hulk soon. Oh, <laughs> that right. shit is coming soon. It's, it's just, his, but just his power though. They're not gonna change. Bro, the they're gonna nerf. Okay, they're well, make well, like a he's, six, eight, okay, he's not going to be able to get to Infinite when they nerf him. So don't worry about it. Not easily. Not easily. Thank right. you. Okay. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We can talk. We can talk about this all day. We can pull a cap and talk about this all day. But, but let's talk about what we came here to talk about, guys. Yes, sir. Of course, that wonderful, awesome Brooklyn tournament that happened this two past weekends ago, um, with of course the best cast is in the building. All four of us did a great job. A right. Shout out to Yipes and Perry. Started off making it nice and hot. Everybody. Who's everybody told me that you guys killed it. People who didn't know who Yipes was was like, who is Yipes? <laughs> this guy's amazing. I got to follow. I said, yeah, go ahead. Click on it. His name is in my, my title. Click on it. Make sure you guys follow Yipes. It was great meeting you guys. Of course, it was a great time. I want to know how you guys felt about it. How did you guys feel about the tournament, the turnout, the people, casting? How do you guys feel about it? Either one of you guys can start. Yeah, yeah all right. All right. <laughs> I'll, uh, I, I mean... It was a minor dream come true for me. I had been interested in casting since I was younger. I had I, I had dreams to be a sports caster and be able wow. to be like a Joe Buck or whoever, Cole plays. I had always kind of had that drive to do that. It never panned out. I never went to school for it or anything. And I kind of just got to live vicariously through people like Yipes, through people like Ultra David and James Chen for the fighting game side of things, <coughs> people like yourselves, Sino you know, and STG. On the snap side of things, I always thought that would be so cool to do one day and to be given the opportunity when Alec reached out to me and was like, hey, man, I know you had previously been talking about Marvel Snap in-person tournaments. We're going to be running another one. I was still a little too new in the community when that first one happened, so I was kind of out of the loop. That was actually how I discovered Brooklyn in the first place, was seeing those pictures that you guys posted online from that first event. I was like, oh, shit, I never heard of this place. This looks dope. And sure enough, I follow them, you know. A few months pass, Alec reaches out to me, and he's like, hey, how would you feel about casting the event? I was like, what do you mean casting? I've never casted before, but I didn't tell him that. I was like, hell yeah, let's go. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Give me the chance, man. Put me in, coach. So I was, I now, now, never in my wildest dreams that I think I would be co-commentating with a legend like Yipes, a man I had been watching since 2008, 2009, back in the Marvel days. Marvel 3, watching him at Next Level Arcade, Evo, all the events. So getting to actually sit there and cast with someone I had been looking up to and watching for over a decade was really like a dream come true. I I was extremely nervous. I'm glad it didn't show on camera for most. Uh, you know, they got my name wrong at the start, but that's whatever. I was I was Perry Manilow for a little while, but it's all good. You know. This is this is how you start, and uh, I'm super grateful for the opportunity. We're really looking forward to to doing more, and I just had such a fun time doing it. That's awesome, man. Yeah, they, they, yeah how do you how do you feel about it? Well, it's good to uh, hear that people loved it, cause you know I'm I'm kind of like that one guy. Like if I get the job done, you know I, I bask in the love and the victory, and then I'm just one with the win. So I don't really pay attention to uh, what people say too much, cause uh, you know this ain't even like to be cocky or anything. Like I've done so many right. events. That like you know, I just get it done and I just move forward. So the fact that I'm hearing back from you guys that everybody enjoyed it was pretty dope. Uh, you know, um, you know, when I before I got on the microphone with Perry, I said, Hey, listen, just have a conversation with me, bro. Because we if we play the game and if you love the game, uh, just everything that just puts into con put into context for the viewers to to really understand just comes out naturally, you know what I mean? So pretty cool. I I, I actually am very happy, Perry, that you actually had that much fun commentating with me because you know, a lot of people do tend to get nervous, right? But Again, if you enjoy what you do and you enjoy what you're talking about, all of that just, you know, it just becomes seamless to you. So really, like, enjoy just to have a conversation. I mean, and, and again, I've been doing it for years. All I've been doing really when I first started was just talking mad shit. I didn't even know it was commentary. I was just talking shit on the microphone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then obviously, as the game, as the games progress and the and the uh, level of just social media and just uh, broadcasting now has elevated, you know, to where more people can watch stuff like Marvel yeah. Snap, you know. Um, obviously it carries over and it, you know, holds weight. So I really do appreciate that. I had the opportunity to do Marvel snap. I never thought I would do it, but I always seen myself do it, you know, which is pretty dope. And I had the opportunity doing, uh, doing that in that event. So I appreciate you guys for running that show. That is awesome, man. Yeah. It was a great time, man. I exactly. See you guys 
cast the way you guys did together was it was flawless. Like you said, we didn't see any type of nervousness. All we saw was two people having a great conversation and talking about what they saw. And some of those matches was crazy, especially that first one. With yeah, what, what a match started off with eight cubes <laughs> yeah. right off the bat. Yeah, wow. that was crazy. Um, great turnout for that one. And then, of course, everything that followed after. Of course, there are some things that I think the next one could improve on, especially with the time gaps that we have in between matches, yeah, etc. Right. <laughs> but other than that, I think everything went smoothly. Everything was perfect. We had a great turnout of people. <clears throat> I'm sure we can get more. But the biggest part about it was the energy, everybody just being there, mm -hmm. having a good time. I do regret one thing, though, not being able to beat Yipes in a game of Snap. <laughs> that was on the new screen. Yo. Yo, for now. <laughs> Yo, but hold on, hold on, though. Check this out. This is how I know everybody got that teamwork mentality, right? First thing I said was, yo, man, y'all entering? Everybody's like, nah, we're going to be focused on the event. I said, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to be, I wanna be that guy that just get off like like middle commentary and then I just got to like just stop and just freaking go play. Excuse so me. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, right guys. Uh, all right. Oh, wait, it's my match. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Perry, you got it. And I'll uh, be right back. Thanks. Thanks. I would have ran it, too. Listen, I play. I yeah. play the game a lot, man. I play yeah, the game we, a lot. We definitely got to get some games you know, next People time. would frown we on did. the fact that we would try to win our own money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that too, right? That too. That have been it's something. Like, hey, ain't you putting in some for the for the yeah, for the price? Like, yeah, you yeah, yeah. How you gonna try and get drought, man? <laughs> Hit him with the yo, that drought, kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my boy Joe was telling me. He was like, "I'm putting up right. this money for Marshall Base. You're gonna go win it back, right?" Oh damn! About that. <laughs> no, sir. I'll be in the booth. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm oh, in the man. booth. Yeah, <laughs> so, thanks. Crazy enough, I did not know this, but until after the tab, that casters drink for free? Is that the case? Apparently. I was enjoying Blue. myself, bro. <laughs> Blue my mind. That helped the nurse. Blue helped my mind when I sure. went, because I went to get you guys a drink, you yep. know, when you guys are doing in between the cast. And I was like, yes, for the guy. He said, oh, yeah, yeah. Cash is drink for free. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> you know, man. Cash it too. He was like, I had no idea. I'm sorry, but it's cool. Next time you guys know. But that was that was interesting. So shout out to Brooklyn for that. Oh, shout out to Will, and, man. Hey, what's up? man yeah, I didn't stop us. Right? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> that, definitely, because I, I, nah. I was pretty good that day. <laughs> yeah, nah, it didn't stop us at all, but. Shout out to them even doing that. Like I didn't know they did that. That's a yeah, awesome so thing to take care of their casters. Because a lot of places don't do that, yeah, right? No. They give you a place to cast, and that's yeah. it. Some well, places might even, you, right. They'll give you a either. drink, or, <coughs> right? Or, you know, something for free. But now you're not gonna yeah. sit there and get everything. Cash you get free, give me your cash. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. Free entry. Walk in. <laughs> right. That's yeah. it. Right. No cover charge. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty good enough. Yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Them. And I really hope that uh the next one they're ready to make it happen. But we definitely have some pictures from there. I'm going to get some of Perry's pictures real quick. And then we'll jump into c -Nails. But Perry, this gentleman right here, this is... That is Verbal, fellow yeah. Pursuit Gaming teammate, fellow New That's Yorker. Right. He had a great right. time. That was my first time meeting him as well. We had chatted plenty online. I of don't know course. why I'm making a face like that, but he looks whatever. like an Elias player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy looks like an Elias player. He's Man, an Elias mm. player. Yeah, you know what? That sounds about right. He does look like a Elias player. I wouldn't be surprised if he was running some Elias <laughs> in that tournament. Perry, Perry was real serious in this picture, but it's all right. Then, of course, Perry's like hanging out with Pulse Glazer. Shout out you to guys Pulse. Snap, yeah, yes. from Snap Judgments. Was that yes. Wombat Combat? That's Wombat Combat on the right. Yep. Wombat, Wombat Combat. Um, another stream monster. I see him in streams all the time. Another <laughs> person too, yeah. you just see on Twitter. And then look at that. Local New Yorker coming out to the event. Yeah, right. It's right. really yeah, cool I'm Wombat. I'm a little tight now. Yeah. I'm glad New York showed up, man. I'm really glad New York showed up. Yeah. Then here we go. Here we go. Nice big yeah. shot of uh, all the people in the stream having a good time in the building. Right. Yep, from the, the setups awesome there seats. too. Yeah. And yeah, this is when we were Four. like winding down in the rounds. A lot of people got their butt whooped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Salt was had. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, yeah, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm out. That was one game. Crushing as hell, man. <laughs> yeah, that drink. Yeah, that free drink, right? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Oh, oh man, I sick of the drink, so I was in there, yeah. boy. Yeah. 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 There was a few drinks in at that point. Yeah, yeah we yeah. got our girl oh. Rhea Ripley in the background. I like that. There we go. Oh, shit. You're right. For all those watching, all those listening, yes, man, just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get to see Perry, yeah. Perry 
Yipes. And our boy here. Don't worry about the screen back there. We can't describe that to you guys. Yeah, that nope. says WrestleMania on it. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah, of protein on that screen. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all saw I got cool sticks. You already know what it is, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. That was some good stuff, guys. And then, of course, we're going to go over to Casino. Casino went and just blew up the uh, the Twitter game or the mm-hmm. X game with all his wonderful photos. <laughs> Starting with, of course, the wonderful Perry and Yipes on the screen. Amazing. Yeah, so you guys can see here. Look at that. Zoom there he in. is, Perry Manila. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Perry. laughs> so I had my boys text me. Is. They're like, Perry Manila? So, so you wow. I didn't realize that. That's hilarious. Uh, 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 That's how I was introduced to the world. Easter eggs. Perry. There you go. Perry, Perry. I got that a lot. That damn platypus, man. Oh, wow. That's ass, man. Part that was me. crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> What just happened there? Did it just disappear? It's oh, Perry. It's Perry. Yeah, it's not Perry Manilo. It's Perry. Perry Manilo. Manilo. Perry. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was hilarious. We look at some of these. This is the top four here. Yeah. We got a Game Flash X. We got Timmy. Mm-hmm. We got the Champ Falcon. That's and right. of course, 13 year old Cat. Man, that's so there. cool. The fact that you had a top four with someone in their 40s and someone in, a, in their teens is yep. crazy. The yeah. fact that yeah. it brings all these kinds of people together. Yeah, man. Look at the backgrounds here. Just, that's right. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. Man, yeah. that, man I know a seven-year-old that'll whoop a, a, a 40-year-old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know some yeah, people, they, bro. They, they, I believe it, bro. <laughs> seven-year-olds right, with some rich parents. Collection yeah. complete. Wow. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think that's why Snap is one of the best card games out there because the ease of, ease of um, learning it and, of course, being able to play it, anybody can play it and be able to win no matter what. Just look at this. They, these card lists was none of these card lists had Thanos in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the first tournament after Thanos was nerfed. Mm-hmm. Right. And and look how great it was. Yep. So I'm happy that Thanos got that nerf. These guys could have ran a life, but they didn't. We had a move deck, we had two discards, and then we had a, a mix mash deck that Cat brought that was just killing it. So mm-hmm. I mean, wild that was some stuff. good stuff. Yeah, very wild. Can't wait to see the other ones. Um, of course, so you did, did take a picture with him. There he goes. Yeah, and yeah. Falcon. No, uh, Wombat. I oh, didn't get a Wombat. Wombat. Okay. So See, look at that. Hey, fuck a lie face. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. you still got that fuck a lie What are you looking at, bro? Yeah, what, what, are you, what are you guys looking at? Interesting. Yeah, right? I don't know. We got mad cameras, man. I don't know yes. <laughs> where are we looking at. Oh, of course, we got the team. There it is. The team good. right there. Yeah. Oh, that man. Uh, that yeah. man was surfing. He, he went out to the he went to the beach with some surfing right there. <laughs> that man got some serious love, man. I'm happy for him. Yeah. Of course, we got pictures with Dara. Dara showing up. Yeah, shout um, out. that was cool Dara. to see as well. We shot to Dara when we first started talking about this, and he did say he might not be around, but if he is, he'll show up. So I'm happy he actually did show up. Which is pretty cool. awesome, and take pictures yeah, of everybody. You else. fell asleep in the middle of the picture, bro. You got it. You got it. <laughs> oh well, you know what? what happened was, man. I was ready to go home. You see, at this point, my it was all the was, drinks. I think <laughs> my body was shot from the drinks and the. Yeah, you know, man. I'm like, the room was hot too. Yeah, that cast the room was hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we didn't even you know. talk about that. I don't know how y'all survived. That. I literally oh, no, got booth? my hoodie on the whole yeah. year. Booth was hot, yipes. I had yo, the I had yo. the hoodie on the whole time, sweating my ass off and uh, drinking. I ain't gonna front me. I had enough ice in my in my drink. I was chilling. Oh, you good? I mean, we the A school for that the way I look at it. And yeah. I had a do rag on too, so I, I probably wouldn't even feel the sweat. That's fair. Yeah, the cap helps too. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Speedy in the building. Speedy, Speedy yeah. Snap, was in there. Yeah, that this is awesome, man. Yeah, and that's about it. Yeah, now nah, you got the, oh, the, there we go. the MVP picture. I like this picture right there. The yeah, there we go. The the I love this picture, picture too. You guys, I, I got the new nickname, Mr. Fantastic, because yes. it looks <laughs> like, like it, bro, yeah. it looks like my arm is all the way around Yipes and STG. Facts. It's an optical illusion. <laughs> so they call me Mr. I'm Fantastic. Like, people, yeah. people tend to ignore my hand is literally on Perry's shoulder. <laughs> right. They don't see that. They, they just see me and the two hands. Like, they, they like they forget that. I got a wingspan, but like. Facts. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> Perry <laughs> Manilow. Not Perry. 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 Shout Perry. out to Third Strike. <laughs> it's not bad. He's Perry. He's Perry. 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 <laughs> Mr. Fantastic. I love it. That is fantastic. Yeah, I love that picture. That's a nice that's a memory right there. 
Yeah. yeah shout Definitely. out. I didn't get a picture with Alumi either. Shout out to Alumi. She was out there. Yep. She played in the tournament. Also. No idea she was from New York either. It was cool that she showed yeah, up. Really yeah, really dope. Yeah. yeah. Really dope. Well, Crazy shit is we bumped into her out in Boston. So that was insane yeah. too. Oh, wow. so, yeah. yeah. Pax. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pax. That's pretty awesome. Um, some more people didn't want to show up, but of course they had prior engagements. So for the next one, we definitely will try to make it as early notice as possible. So we yeah. get to come out. Miss out. <laughs> but definitely the FOMO is real. People people ready to quit their jobs to come out with us <laughs> at the next one. So don't quit your jobs, but definitely come out yeah. and hang out with us. Nah, you need that money. <laughs> and try to win that money. You know what I mean? What's the pool going to be next time? $5,000? Yeah, Ooh, you want to tell the people what the pool ended up being? 1093 or 1040, 1143. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice. So 1143, yeah. That was the breakdown of us putting up the majority of it. Big money. Then, Let's go. then we had well, Marvel Snapcast, and we had uh, Brooklyn putting up two, I believe. Marshall Base putting up a good chunk as well. Yeah, and of course, shout out, yeah, and then shout, out to, shout out to Yipes with his um, crowdfunding yeah. link. Yes. And mm-hmm. then Maturino, the crowd really Maturino, came yep. through and put up the rest. So it was going to be almost a 1,000. They put us over that hump. And then I matched to make sure it got to a thousand, and of course they're one forty three on top of the thousand, made eleven forty three, and all top, all the top four players got paid out, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Everybody was happy, and uh, that's great for one first tournament, guys. Oh, mm-hmm. for sure. I mean, that's that. That's fantastic. So it's one of the biggest pots in Marvel Snap that I've seen in a while. That's right. And that Correct. was the last tournament. Correct. Most you see online, especially 200, 100. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the most I saw, and there was a recent five hundred. I, I never saw anybody go up to a thousand plus. Yeah, very solid. Makes it worthwhile for the players Other than coming creator in. Creator clash that's, doing that one time. That's the only yeah. time I know. Of Which I was part of as was part of as well. Yeah, because I feel that I feel if you're gonna make that travel, it's gonna be worth. It gotta be worth it for you guys, mm-hmm. right? Nobody wants to come out to win fifty dollars, right? Yeah, you know I mean, I mean, fifty is fifty, but at the end of the day, you want to win something. So I think. Definitely try to make it as best as possible. Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, why not? I'm just saying. I mean, but you gotta make it worth your while. I think that's the way it should be for everybody. And you know, we see a lot of other tournaments that's not Snap having great prize pools. Why can't Snap get that love too? That's right. You feel me? For sure. You know I mean? So oh, yeah. We had to go bigger and better for the next one, of course. And uh nah man, that was a great time, guys. We definitely had a good time, definitely enjoyed it. Love the energy you guys bring, I love hanging out with you guys. I mean, we could do this shit forever. Yeah, we're definitely Absolutely. Captain America. This whole conversation, do it all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna do that. The second thing, I know, I know you guys listen every week. Please help out Perry. Please, not Perry. Perry, man. Not Perry. 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 Little song. Perry. Help out Perry. Yeah. Don't help out Perry. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give Cap some love. I mean, he is the leader of the Avengers, right? Come on, man. One of the most iconic characters in fiction. Give him some love. Oh, yo, what if? If somebody plays Mjolnir and Cap is on the field, Cap gives a buff too. I mean, that's cool. You know, it's not like it's something he's done a couple times. I don't want Mjolnir to be like his thing, but give him the shield, man. Come on, give him the yeah, shield. Perry, Perry just wants Cap to do what. Yeah, Cap he does. Wants, yeah, he wants his uh, own you know spotlight. I respect for Cap. You. He wants I the shield. To do he, doesn't that. Have to he doesn't have to be top tier. He doesn't have to be meta. But let him play. Let him play, <coughs> man. Let him be I mean, all, let me be real with you. All the other Avengers is great cards. You can play those cards. You Thor. can play Hawkeye and Bounce. You can play yeah. Black Widow. Bro, you can play. Bro, Hulk was I know. For a while. Cap, no cap. Mm-hmm. Can't play cap. Get no love. Cap, cap get no love. All right, I'm He's gonna ass. go infinite with Cap this season. I'm at 83. Right. I'm gonna go infinite with Cap this season. Damn lie. Right. I'm gonna call that shit Perry. Go ahead. Let's see it. Perry <laughs> America. Perry America. Perry America. <laughs> I'm going straight to infinite with Cap. Yeah, right. this guy. Yep. Cap it onslaught all day, every day. And when I do it, Perry, then you gotta really just relax at that point. All right, I'll concede. Uh, I'll concede. Let enough, me see you. Uh, let me see you beat those. Uh, those top tier decks with Cap. God, yeah. So go right. beat Hello with Cap. You know what? I, go beat Red Hulk with Cap. Let me think what I just said just now. But go yeah, beat Hello with Cap. That was yeah. funny. <laughs> we'll go try. Uh, go try. Good. I want to see that shit too. When you Avengers know. assemble. <laughs> Minions. <laughs> me. me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you, guys. Wow. Appreciate you. 
Wow, hey, don't wow, feel wow, bad. Wow. They did the X Men kind of dirty too. So, wow. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen. Thanks again for hanging out. Is there anything you yeah. want to say before we dip? It's, it's time to say it. Like Perry, where can people find you? Let them know where they can find you, my friend. Twitch.tv slash Perry Manilow. I stream Monday nights. That's my big night. Bingo. Marvel Snap Bingo. If you guys haven't checked that out, I highly awesome. encourage it. I do giveaways. Mm -hmm. It's an interactive stream. Audience gets to play along. Everyone who's come out has a good time. So come out Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm also on Twitter. I got to start posting YouTube videos again. I'll get on that soon enough. But Perry Manilow across all platforms. Yeah, we'll have his, we'll have his um, socials down below mm -hmm. in the description. The Ipes, where can people, where can people find you? Um, uh, IFC Yipes everything, man. Um, you could catch me on my stream three times a week, and that's only because I travel a lot. But when I do have those off seasons, I'm pretty much streaming every day. But uh, mainly, uh, my biggest pull in just terms of the best entertainment you can have in terms of laughter is the can opener every Tuesday. Okay. Uh, rock, uh, mostly Street Fighter Six, but there'll be most of the times we'll like we'll rock like a Third Strike or a Battle Bots. We'll do some random shit. One day we might we might do Monopoly or Parcheesi if I really feel oh, like it. Oh wow! You know I, mean? I hear that. Let, let me cast that Monopoly stream with you guys. Yeah, I got you. Let me cast that Monopoly. But yeah, it's just it's just a wholesome fun. You know what I mean? And you're just dealing with. <laughs> Me and my BFF, <laughs> and young, it's like two drunk uncles just talking shit with their kids and, and the nieces and nephews. So, yeah, yeah IFC Yipes everything, man. From Twitch, Twitch.tv slash IFC Yipes, just IFC Yipes everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. All right, we'll have those links down as well. Guys, again, I appreciate you guys coming out hanging with us. Definitely appreciate yes. this. Yes, we and, appreciate uh, you guys taking out the time. We know you guys are really busy, so thank you so much. We appreciate course, it. I apologize to being congested and doing it, but I had to keep it. I had to keep the promise and make it happen. Yeah, yeah thanks. Thanks again. Make sure you guys check out their links down below. Check them out. I appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. See you.